Hello, I'm Russ Sands with the Colorado Water Conservation Board, and we're really excited to announce the launch of the public comment period for the 2023 Colorado Water Plan. A draft of the Colorado Water Plan will be up online for public comment running from June 30th, 2022 through to September 30th, 2022. And after that, we'll take the comments we receive, incorporate those into the plan, and have a final for the board to review and approve in January of 2023. A few things that you're gonna to wanna to know about the plan, and I'll run through five, are one, it's a framework that really builds collaboration and specifically speaks to the things that you can do and that state agencies, including CWCB, will take on to advance and build more resilience to our future around water. Two, there are two types of actions in the plan. There are about 50 actions in the plan that we call partner actions. We've highlighted 50 actions that are the types of good work that we know we need to see in Colorado that are the kinds of things that we would fund through grant making. Then there are 50 actions in the plan that we call agency actions. Those are the actions that the Colorado Water Conservation Board or our collaborating agencies will help make happen that really build the tools that support our partners in advancing the good work in Colorado. A third thing that you'll want to know, there are three ways that you could really get involved. Get involved with water. That may mean going to a local round table meeting or going to a local water meeting or joining a, a group that's involved in water. It may be using your vote when a water topic comes up. Either way, know where your water comes from and help us figure out how we can solve our future challenges around it. Two, get conserve water. Make sure that you're using best practices and personally conserving water indoors and outdoors. And three, you can come in for a grant. Colorado Water Plan grants were specifically built and designed to help support implementation of the Colorado Water Plan. There are four integrated areas in the plan. I'll walk through what those four are. And we really talk about them being integrated because it's impossible to really separate these out. For the purposes of planning, we organize the plan around these four areas. But the truth is they're extremely interconnected, intertwined, and interdependent. Those four areas include Vibrant communities, thinking about all our municipal water use in towns and cities, no matter how big or how small. Robust agriculture, thinking about our farms and ranches and our local food. Thriving watersheds, thinking about how we protect not just our watershed health, but our forest health, how we protect our streams and rivers across the state and support recreation and tourism. And then resilient planning, thinking about our climate future and climate adaptation, and climate extremes, and how we prepare every Colorado to focus on those issues. That means embracing education and outreach. It means focusing on inclusivity across the state and making sure that we are recognizing and engaging with our diverse communities across the state. It also means thinking about smart government and the ways that we and government can help support local projects, including with funding. The fifth thing you need to know is that there are five water plan grant categories that help support all these projects across the state that we want to develop. And again, there are many project opportunities out there and grant funding from federal and local levels and at other state agencies. But Colorado Water Plan grants were specifically designed to help support implementation of the Colorado Water Plan. You can find out all that information on our website. Here are the five categories that you'll want to think about. Conservation and land use, water storage and supply, engagement and innovation, agriculture, watershed health, and recreation. And these areas really underpin the water plan. So with that, we really hope that you'll take the time to read the draft and give us your input. And what we'd really love is if you don't just make a comment, by all means, tell us where we might've gotten something wrong or where we can make it better. But what we really are asking for is your commitment to action. Look at those partner actions, see where you can get engaged. It's gonna take all of us across the state, everyone pulling together to really meet the moment and meet our Colorado water challenges. We also have up on our website, engagecwcb.org, the opportunity to share a story of a project that we need to hear about that's really making a difference for Colorado. Something that we could scale or build upon, something that's showing the way forward, that's a great example of the kind of resilience that we need to see in the state. So we'll look forward to your comments and your stories and really look forward to the actions that you might take Come in for a grant, get involved with water, and stay informed on the Colorado Water Plan. Thanks so much.